Hey, what's up guys? I got a quick look at OS EROM on the HTC Droid DNA. Um, sorry I have not made a video in almost a month, but I've been going through some stuff, trying to find a job, trying not to get kicked out of my house and be homeless, and I sold almost every phone I've, I own besides this one, but don't worry, I still have my LG Envy. So if you guys want to see videos on that, I still have it. Don't freak out because I think I sold it. But this is OS EROM. It's kind of like Omni. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard Omni for the Nexus 4. I wanted to try it out before I sold it to pay my rent, but it didn't really work out that well. So if you go into settings, um, OS E theme, I'm going to turn it off because I don't really like it. It's the purple theme. Um, home screen, it's basically the CyanogenMod mod home screen. Lock screen, stock, signage, and mod lock screen options. Themes, theme manager. You choose themes to install, what you do. Interface, it's where you can change like the status bar. You can change the quick settings, you know, quick pull down, little animations, stuff like that. Not really, you know, it's not really that newsworthy because most ROMs have it like AOKP, signage, and mod, this is where it gets most of it from. Module management is your exposed installer. I'm sure you guys have heard of exposed man um, exposed installer like exposed modules and stuff like that. It's basically what that is. Per app settings is your Pi. Um, I do not use Pi. I don't like it, so take that for what it's worth. You do have custom buttons though, so you can make your recent apps where you tap it for recent apps and you press and hold for menu. So that's always nice. I like that because I use recent apps more than menu. In most ROMs, they automatically set that for menu, and I hate it because I don't use menu as much as my recent apps, so I can switch between apps. But if you go to About Phone, you see we are running on Android 4.3.1 and OS E 1.0. This is a nightly build. They do have stable versions, meaning of life. I love that. Oh, it's awesome. But they do have stable versions, but you guys know me. I never go for stable. It's not worth it. Um, so if we go ahead and go back. Let's go to performance. Hit OK. Go to processor. Go to maximum. No overclocking with the stock kernel. Some have installed different kernels. Some use Palmer's kernel. If you guys know the Droid DNA, then you know what Palmer's kernel is. Um, but yeah, everything else is basically Cyanogen Mod or stock AOSP, stock light theme, whatever it is. No one cares about it, to be honest with you. Let's open up the browser. So the browser is going to load Google.com. Actually, let me go ahead and hit decline because that way it won't pop up again. And then let's go to Gmail. So once you install this, the apps are blacked out, but the, the Gmail app updated through, through the Play Store. So it took away the... Uh, the blacked out version because the blacked out was for an earlier build of it and the gmail was just updated so take that for what it's worth um if we open up the dialer and if we open up the camera so there we go it's not going to focus on anything because there's nothing there but if we hit the recent apps now and we go to let's let's go to browser we can remove from list app info but we can add to split view yes so let's go to gmail Long press on Gmail. Add that to split view as well. Look at that. Look at it. You just want it. You just want to touch it. What does the keyboard look like? Okay, so the keyboard it still takes up, you know, most of it. But that's it's not too intrusive because if you look, it doesn't really take up all of the bottom, so it's not too bad. But you can still pinch and view on Google. It's kind of weird because I'm look my camera's in the way. But you have your Gmail. Probably shouldn't flick through it because it's kind of actually it's nothing important it's just all YouTube um but that's awesome you can also rotate it so rotate it for what it's worth the browser is kind of weird sometimes see like it's it's kind of like you know set in if that makes sense like you got to move it in order for it to you know do its thing but if we go to camera we add this to the split view look at that the camera works too you can kind of see the green, you know, the camera is in the way a little bit. Sorry about this, but 
don't really have the best setup. So, um, yeah, just touch the camera, trying to make it. There you go. So now you, you see how like it fits in after a set amount of time. That makes sense. Now you do not want to hit the home button. If you want to close out of this, don't hit the, hit the back button. Because if you see if you hit the back button and you keep hitting the back button, it closes them out. So when you open them again, close it out. It was working earlier, like where you close it out and then it goes back to the full version. See how the calendar, I think it's because I didn't close out the browser before I opened up Gmail. But you see, if you hit the back button, they go to their full size. Whereas if you just hit the home button, they'll stay, you know. Uh, let's go back to here. Hit this. See, let's make this split view again. And if, if we just hit the home button, oops, and we, we go back to Gmail, usually it stays split view, but course it's not gonna do it because it's on camera and I'm trying to tell you guys something but <laughs> so that's the best part about this ROM I have not been able to test battery life I just installed it um, I was going to go for um, the gummy ROM from team gummy because they're awesome and everybody in that thread has said that they have remarkable battery life and it has all the features that I use on a ROM from like AOKP and but I went with this because it has the split view because I love that on Samsung phones Samsung phones suck in their overpriced plastic but I love the split view because it takes advantage of the screen this is my droid DNA it's a 5 inch 1080p screen you can it's 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 awesome to say the least like you can run probably two or three apps at a time, like side by side, and with because it's a 1080p screen, you would honestly be able to read, you know, everything on them, even if it's small. So let's just set that as wallpaper because it kind of matches the blue. But if we hit here and we go long press on this, we can go to floating mode, and so floating mode does the same thing that split view does. If that makes sense. If you guys know what floating mode, like the difference in floating mode and split view is, can you leave in the comments below, please? Kind of help, help me out a little bit. But, oh, that's just awesome. I love it. So, yeah. It's basically CyanogenMod Mod with a few AOKP features, a few um, Paranoid Android features, and Halo. So, if you guys use Halo, I know a lot of you guys really like Halo. Um, it's It's here. I would recommend trying this ROM. Um, I will like update you guys on battery life so if I don't just reply to it in a comment below like I'll have it in the description or something like that just anything um, to install this there will be two zips the ROM I download the nightlies from the XDA link just go in the description for the XDA link there are nightly builds and there are stable builds I don't ever use stable builds I just use night nightly builds because you know it's what I do but you download those in the o OSE, sorry, OSE, OSE G apps. So the OSE nightly build, the latest is October 31st, which is today, and will be newer when you guys. And then the OSE G apps. Install those two files with twerp, and yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Install those, reboot. The reboot time is really fast, and it's just kind of crazy. So if we go to reboot, you know, we're just gonna, I don't know what to do. I don't know. The reboot menu is weird. So, let's just, we're just gonna do this one. So, it's doing this thing. It's just gonna inappropriately touch your phone, and it's gonna do it. That's where we're going right now. So, it's gonna reboot into the bootloader. Because if you guys actually care about my second channel, you know that I posted a video on that earlier. Which I just finished doing, actually. But, we're gonna reboot, and I want you guys, it's at 9.25 right now. So, HTC logo. Got the whatever that thing is. I don't like the boot animation. I'm probably going to change it. What was that? 10 seconds? Maybe 15 seconds. But that boot up time is insane. Like... You can turn off your phone and turn it back on and be able to use it in no time at all. So, yeah. 
Um, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys are happy that I'm... Whoa. That was just closed on its own. If you guys are happy that I'm back, yeah. Whoa. Open. Alright. So if you guys are happy that I'm back, you know, give it a thumbs up too. Or just comment below saying, oh my god, Brandon, you're back. No one loves you. Either way, um, thanks for all the support, guys. I don't know how many videos I'm going to be making since I only do have this one device. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.